The content on this channel has been created for adults. If you're not at least 13 years of age or older, then please do not watch this content. Sorry, dude. Come back when you're 13. What's up, family? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to Off Tap Life. Always a pleasure to be rocking with all you beautiful people around the globe. Guys, funny how things happen, right? So we were just checking out Meryl Bainbridge for the first time. We did the garden uh, song, that first one, which was absolutely mesmerizingly amazing. I absolutely love that song. Then Under the Water one, and now, it's funny thing is we're doing mouth now if you remember under the water i played a little bit of this song because i was just curious this is this was her like big hit you know uh and uh i was like oh i want to hear a little bit of it and i didn't play much i only played like 40 seconds of it just to get a feel of what her big hit song was you know and uh <laughs> now we get to hear the whole thing it's funny how that works out but janelle aka jazzy J has actually requested Mouth by Meryl Bainbridge as well for us to check out. Now, we found out some interesting information about her uh, in that last video. You know, we found out she was an Aussie artist, which is really cool. You know, she managed to break out uh, in our U.S. market back home, which is really incredible for any artist to do because it's, it's very competitive back home. And uh, we got to see already different sides of her, you know, because I felt like this song was completely just a different feel than, uh, you know, the, the Garden song in particular. Uh, so, I, I, you know, now we get to hear it all the way through. So let's hear it from start to finish, all the way through, not just a couple seconds of it. So I can really get a grasp on this song and see what it, you know, how it really makes me feel. So that being said, let's go ahead and click that play button. Let's get it. I will say quickly, I did I did like the beatboxing. I didn't mention it last time because I wasn't doing a whole reaction on the song, but yeah, the beatboxing touch is nice. I do like that. Feel like I've been blown apart. There are pieces here, I don't know where they go. I don't know where they go. Kiss me on my salty lips. I bet you feel a little crazy, but for me, we'll be famous on TV. I'm gonna say something stupid, like, <laughs> it's gonna sound stupid now, but yeah, I feel like I've heard this song before and I'm not trying to be funny. <laughs> Cause I actually feel like I've heard this song before even though, yes, we did hear 40 seconds of it, but outside of that, I do feel like I've heard this song before somewhere, which is really weird, cause I don't know why I would have heard this song somewhere, but I feel like I've heard it. I really feel like I've heard it. Let's keep going. When I kiss your mouth, I want to taste it And turn you upside down, don't want to waste it I jump on you, you jump on me You push me out and even though you know I love you I'd be inclined to slap you in the mouth When I kiss your salty lips You will feel a little crazy but for me Like, uh, I th it's the hook that I feel like I've heard, you know what I mean? That hook feels so freaking, you know, familiar to me. It's that actual hook. It's a really good hook. I, I do like that hook. I also want to say that I figure out what it is about her that is consistent throughout all three songs. 
And even though this song is it's got a different vibe to it to me, I will say that she carries this real innocence about her. Like the song is like, you know, you know, about kissing mouth, you love sexual kind of, you know, that type of stuff, you know. Um, but I will say that she has such an innocence about her. Like, I feel like she's got this real, like, just, I can't explain it the way, but innocence. Like, she just has this real subtleness to her, you know. Like, she doesn't, it doesn't feel like a song like this, many other artists would make it feel really just a bit more, like, raunchy, sexually fueled kind of song do you know what I mean like a bit more dirty or something but she makes it feel more wholesome that's what it feels like an innocent wholesome song you know I that's what I get from her she feels so just innocent and wholesome and cute I, I like it I really like it I like I like the energy that she's putting off you know let's go let's go <laughs> for starters i mean it's very catchy um i actually now that i've heard it all the way through and allowed it to really you know to get the vibe to it and to kind of feel it out i definitely gonna say i like this better than under the water um okay let me put no let me rephrase that i like it better than the last part of under the water because as you guys know the when those guys came in it kind of ruined the vibe for me um that i was feeling but I I I I I mess with this. I like it. It's cool, man. Like you know, I wish I'd know more about um about her. I I really mind knowing if she's just kind of um still out there putting out anything new, which would be really interesting to know. I mean, I guess a quick little check on our friend uh, Google <laughs> might reveal something. Um, cause yeah, you know, now that we've heard three of her songs. Let's find out a little more information. Okay, so guys, in case you were wondering, she's 52, so she's still definitely young enough to be actively performing songs and stuff. Um, now, the sad thing is it doesn't look like she's done anything else in recent times, though. She's from Victoria. Guys, for you guys who don't know, Victoria is down southern Australia, like down past Sydney, past all of that. It's down southern. Melbourne's the main city there. And uh, Carlton, I've been to Carlton in Victoria. So that's where the studio was, where she recorded Mouth, which was her big song. But it doesn't look like she's doing anything new. That's what I'm getting from this. Um, Filipino Australian singer. 
No. Looks like she only did... Kind of looks like she's only done those songs. It would have been harder to you guys in the 90s compared to now. You didn't have social media. You know, this is... This is all pre-freaking YouTube, pre, you know, MySpace even, you know, pre any of that stuff, any of the social media networks that exist now. So like, you know, if she would have been putting music out now, do you know what I mean? Like, I think she would have had a lot more, you know, support and probably still be putting out music, but it just doesn't look like she's putting out anything anymore. I mean, I could be wrong. Maybe she is. It's just not showing up. Nothing's showing up on the front of Google here. But if she's still out there, if you're still out there, Meryl Banbridge, Bainbridge, whichever way you say it, I apologize. Bain, maybe Rain, Bain, Bainbridge. I would say, girl, make some more music. Don't stop. Just get out there and make some more music. You can do it now. You can easily put it out across social media. And obviously you've got a following of people who are still listening to your stuff. So I would say get out there and make some more music. That's what I would say. Just do it. Just do it, girl. Follow up. We want to hear something new. Let's come on, bring it. <laughs> I love it. Uh... But yeah, look guys, that was really cool. Jay, thank you for introducing something really just different. You know, that's something that, you know, I think we've, you know, kind of really, I think if, unless you were an, an, an Aussie, you might not even, um, probably even, well, nope, she had that song that apparently went big in the States, so. So, yeah. Oh, she has a website. Been a long time between songs. These past few years have been all about being a mom and building my label at Peach Mama. Ah, she's good, so she's still in the industry. That's good. And now that's up and away, expanding across the world, I finally found time to take a breath and write and produce a whole new bunch of songs. And so happy to be working with Mike and Frank. There you go. She's still, guys, she's still in the game. Where do we, f let me check out her website. Let's check out her website real quick. Let's see. Let's just have a quick look. Okay, music. Here we go. Here we go. Song selection. Okay. Guys, she's got she's got a song here called Between the Days. Let's play a little bit of that. Let's see if we can get a little bit of that playing in the background. Wow. different that's different okay she's got a few different songs here guys so yeah good for her I'm glad that she's still out there man like that, that makes me happy to know because it's it's not easy man being an artist in general is just not easy if you speak from experience especially when you know you you trying to achieve longevity is is it's is, is really hard because the new shiny object comes but Go check out her website, guys, if you want. Meryl Bainbridge support. You know, I think support her. She's started her own label. You know, she's out there doing it. I, I like it. I just love it. I love it. Feels very, very cool. Feels very cool, man. Like, if she didn't make that garden song, the garden song got me first started. So she made that garden song. I was like, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah, she's dope. She's cool. Um, but yeah, look, she's got a Facebook page. That's where I found out this other information at. Um, 2018 looks like the last post on there though but 
yeah, her website is on there and stuff. So, you know, she's still, at least, it's good to know that 1994 wasn't, you know, or 95, 97, that era wasn't the last time she did some music. So cool. Meryl Bainbridge, shout out. That's one of the things too, guys. You know, I, if I get the opportunity to, to help push artists that, you know, aren't as known, you know, that are just more in that alternative, you know, that more indie kind of vibe, that feel, those artists I really, really like to push and get behind as well, you know, because being an artist myself, again, I know what it's like. So yeah, a little, little promo for Meryl Bainbridge, man. Meryl Bainbridge, give a round of applause. Good, 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 good request there, Jazzy J. Thank you for sharing. I enjoyed it. And we got to learn a bit more about Meryl Bainbridge too. Because until that's request, I knew nothing. That's why your requests, guys, are so freaking awesome. We get introduced to stuff we would have never heard or known about. So thank you guys for that. Thank you for tuning in. And uh, yeah, guys, support her, support her, give her a subscribe, go find out more information about her label, tell her to make some more music, tell her to keep on keeping on. And uh, yeah, that's awesome, that's super cool. All right, guys, I'm gonna end this video here. As always, remember, leave your to the fullest and keep it off tap. We're out.